Welcome back to the notes videos for world cultures. Today we'll be talking about um, the state system as a political unit. So states are autonomous political units with social strata and a formal government. Um, and we'll be talking about different government types today as well. So uh, generally they are large in size and population, especially in comparison to bands, tribes, and chiefdoms. Um, so these are bigger forms of government than those would be, generally speaking. There are some states that are very small, like the Vatican is considered a state, but there's not that many people who live there, things like that. Um, so states are different than the other types of political organizations because they include certain subsystems within the system of the statehood. So they have population control, which includes um, forming boundaries for your country, um, citizenship limits, and they do a census every once in a while. In America, we do it every 10 years where you record how many people live where, um, what their income is, things like that. Um, we have judiciary, which is laws, legal procedures, and judges enforcement of laws. Um, so we have the military and also permanent police forces. And we have fiscal, the fiscal system. So we charge taxes to our citizens. So all of these things are things that are not enforced in different political systems like bands, tribes, and chiefdoms. These only exist within states. Um, so there are different types of government for states, and I'm sure you've heard of most of these before, so I'm just briefly going to go over them. Um, so there are more forms of government than just these ones, but these are the ones we're going to focus on. So we have anarchy, which um, means there is no government structure. It's just a power vacuum. There is no order or control. Um, it's basically chaos. Monarchy is when only one person is ruling, so think a king or a queen, typically hereditary rule, so it's passed down from father to son or father to daughter, whatever, um, and is generally backed by oligarchical power, which means just a few, you know, wealthy um, higher ups are backing this person. Oligarchy is the rule of a few. Um, so these are powerful, mainly rich, elite people who are ruling over everyone else. So just a group of people ruling. Direct democracy is when citizens are ruling. Um, there's the simple majority rule. So this is like if every citizen voted is direct democracy and you go by the majority rule. A republic is indirect rule of citizens through representatives. So this is what we have in the United States. We have a republic. Um, so we elect our representatives to go rule in the government for us. We have rule of law and a limited government. Tyranny is when there is micromanagement of citizens through a government structure. Um, generally speaking, it is military controlled um, society and authoritarian rule. So tyranny is not good. Um, it, it turns into like one person kind of terrorizing their citizens. And then totalitarianism is when there is total government control. Um, the citizens don't have a say. This is generally when the military is taking over too and enforcing things. Um, so those are the different types of government. I don't have an assignment for you on this, but it will be on the test. So I have created a Quizlet for you guys to kind of review these and we'll be going over examples and stuff in class.